All right, what you see here is a new fan I got off of Facebook Marketplace. This is a Casablanca stealth ceiling fan in 54 inches. And this is a fan I got for a pretty good price, just considering that the fan's in really nice shape. Just swat, there's no bearing issues. And it came with the Intelligo Touch Control. I paid $100 for it. Originally, so it was asking me 130 but I talked them down a little bit. And some people might think, oh, $100 is a bit high for a ceiling fan. Or since some people are like, oh, I get these at Habitat. So I'm like, but I figured since the fan is in real good shape, comes with the IntelliTouch control, which was a big plus, And the fan was actually delivered to me because I didn't have the time to go and get it. So the fact that it was even delivered to me for under $100, for $100 and for a fan that's for retail, I know goes for quite a bit, like a good five to six hundred dollars. So, um, definitely was worth it, without a question. There's only a few scuff marks at the blade tips, which is kind of evident when you get to use Saturn on, or not Saturn on the stove. But, um, fans in really good shape, spins well, doesn't scrape at all. Doesn't seem like it got that much use over its life to be honest or if it did maybe like on the lower setting because there's really no bearing there's like a very very light bearing or like but that could just be it spinning and such but um i'd have to see if it makes that noise with the blades on it but um the fan is actually has some age to it despite it looking very new fans actually from january 16th of 1998 I know it's the 347th fan made that day. But, um, yeah. So, it's definitely, it's over 20 years old, so it definitely has some age to it. But, um, it definitely does look like a fan that you'd see today. But I would probably with matte black blades instead of gloss black, just because gloss black I've been noticing has kind of been fading somewhat. Well, I've always preferred gloss black over, um, matte black i like a shine to it more same thing with white though with white in some cases i prefer just plain white because the gloss white can yellow sometimes but, i mean it's definitely in really it was a really nice it's a really nice fan um it's one of the few kinds of fans that it's actually a childhood fan for me um, i do remember seeing one of these in Brush Nickel Inn and White at our showroom. The funny thing is, it's actually the same showroom where Brandon got the majority of the Casablanca fans that he has installed in his house, including the, his stuff. So, um, yeah. But yeah, the fact that it came with its own IntelliTouch and it was delivered and it was just for 100 it's definitely worth it. And, I always thought I would end up having to pay like quite a few, like maybe 150 to 200 just for itself. And I found this one in. Luckily, it wasn't too far from me. It was only like 10, 15 minutes. Like 15 to 20 minutes away from me. So, um, yeah, I was like, basically it's in the city I work in, so where I work at Savers and such. But it's also, I've just been really busy, so I haven't really been able to, to make a trip to get it and come back out. Somebody probably would have bought it by then, so... Yeah. So I finally got myself a Casablanca Stealth, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.